Ungoliant, an evil deity with the appearance of a horrible spider that appears in the history of the Elven Diamond Campaign, is rumored to be the ancestor of Sherlob, the great spider of the Chirith Urgles. She has an insatiable greed and desires to take everything to fill her own emptiness. The elves are not sure where she came from, but legend has it that she came from the darkness on the outskirts of Arda, one of the deities corrupted and corrupted by Mirko. But then she stopped submitting to the Mirko and became the master of her own greed. In the Twin Tree era, Ungoliant fled to Avisha, which holds the deepest and thickest shadows in the world. She feared the attacks of the multitude of Velera and the hunters of Aromi, while at the same time both hungering for and hating the light of the land of Monfu. When Mirko fled Vereniar, he came to Avisha to seek the aid of Ungoliant. She wove a cloak of darkness over her and Mirko to sneak into Vereniar. Mirko struck the twin sacred trees, while Ungoliant drained the sap from them, and Varda's well was drained by her. As she drank, she emitted black vapor and swelled up into an extremely large and ugly monster that even Mirko feared. Ungoliant and Mirko fled from Vila all the way to the area north of the Gulf of Monagist, where Mirko was forced by Ungoliant to give up his treasures from Verminos. Mirko reluctantly gave up many of his treasures, and she swallowed them one by one, but he would not give up the elven diamonds. Ungoliant then turned on his face and wrapped a spider's web around Mirko in an attempt to strangle him. Mirko then let out a terrifying roar, awakening the infernals lurking in the crypt, who arrived and drove Ungoliant away, saving their master. Ungoliant fled to Nanton Crucible Seb, a dark valley beneath the mountains of Redhelgoth, inhabited by a horde of ugly, spider-like creatures, which Ungoliant mated with and devoured. She later left for the Forgotten World of the South. Her fate has not been recorded since, but some say that her end came long ago, when she became so hungry that she eventually devoured herself. In the Book of Lost Legends, Ungoliant's origins are even more mysterious than those recorded in the Elven Diamonds, and even Vila knows little about her. She is described as a spirit that has existed since the beginning of time, birthed in the darkness of the realm of the Void. Ungoliant spends her time in a lair called Arvalin, where Merkur and his minions came to meet her by chance when they were fleeing from the villa. In this book, the two have no old entanglements with each other, and thus have little animosity towards each other. They first went to loot the jewels of Verminos. Morgoth took the elven diamonds for himself and gladly handed over the remaining gems. Once they had gotten their hands on the jewels, they ran to Ezelohar and tried to destroy the twin sacred trees. Ungoliant poisoned Lauren first. At this point, an older elf named Doran attacked her and cut off one of her legs. An enraged Ungoliant spewed out a giant net and wrapped it around him, but she had to pause in her attack because of the excruciating pain. Mirko killed the immobilized Doran, picked up his fallen sword, poisoned by the blood of the giant spiders, and struck the Telperion. Ungoliant did not join the Mirko after the darkness of Velinor fell, but immediately ran south and fled back to his lair to hide. In an early version of a chapter of the legend of Ijindal, Tolkien envisioned Ijindal meeting this shadow weaver on a journey, which surprised Christopher Tolkien, who would later work on the manuscript, and in 1926 he resumed work on a collection of tales that had been shelved during the war. In a draft completed at this time, his age Arendel kills Ungoliant. Ungoliant is portrayed differently in the Ring of Morgoth and the battle for the Elven Diamonds. At this point, she is identified as one of Mirko's early slaves, who later turned her back on him and hid in Avisha, south of Velinor. The cascading cobwebs she wove obscured the light of the land of Montfort. Over the long years, she suffered from hunger, lost her strength, and was on the verge of death. When the Mirko approached her lair, Ungoliant was terrified of her old master and desperately hid. Only when Mirko presented her with the many gems she had plundered did she relax and reveal herself. With her power restored, Ungoliant traveled alone to Ezlohar and poisoned the twin sacred trees, while Mirko waited near Arvasha and did not intervene.